Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at the TV show Power Rangers. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at the episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 67th episode of Money Morphin Power Rangers as well as the 7th episode of Season 2 titled The Green Dream. We start this episode at Angel Grove High School where Ms. Appleby is telling everyone that their 500 word essays are due this Friday. Wait, 500 words? It's like 10 minutes of work. She warns Bulk and Skull that she expects their essays to be penny droppers. And Skull freaks out momentarily when Bulk mentions that this essay has to be about a subject that interests them. Which again, 10 minutes of work. They're going to write about the secret identity of the Power Rangers for some weird ass reason. In the hallway, Tommy's at his locker and he gets startled by Kimberly because he says that he's had a dream for three nights in a row about losing his powers and apparently it's bad enough to make him glaze over. Let's just all take a moment to appreciate the fact that this is the only moment we'll hear about this dream in an episode called The Green Dream. Lord Zed watches this for some reason, and he says he's going to get the sword of power to make the dream a reality. Really? There's two power swords already in this show, one that is Jason's, and the other that belongs to the Megazord. There wasn't another better name for this MacGuffin? Oh, also apparently it can only be summoned when all the Power Rangers are together. Zed knows more about this than the audience, evidently, or even the Power Rangers for that matter. Zed wants to take Tommy to the Dark Dimension and persuade him to get him to bring the Sword of Power to them. At the Youth Center, Billy shows off some new device that scrambles frequencies to Trini, and for some reason, he thinks if he builds a bigger one, they can use it to defeat Lord Zed. Tommy and Kim show up, and Tommy laments how he has to write a 500 word essay about whatever he likes. Apparently he's writing about mythology. Hulk and Skull also walk in with a device that's supposed to read energies around them to show them who the Power Rangers really are. And it's going nuts. And Billy turns on his own device, and it leads Bulk and Skull to Ernie, who does a racist karate pose. Tommy heads out for the library. Zed finds Tommy walking alone through the park, and he sends down putties to capture him, and Tommy goes, What? Putties? Never change, JDF. You're doing great, sweetie. Tommy shows off with some wire work, but then he just gets captured anyways. And they bring him to the one cave in Angel Grove, where Goldar shows up and spills out the entire plan. They're going to turn Tommy evil, get the Sword of Power, and make Tommy bring it back to them. Tommy says, I'll never do that! And then he gets zapped with mind control, because of course he does. Goldar finds a mythology book, and he says, he submits this image for your approval, Lord Zed. What is happening? Lord Zed zaps the thing creating the Robo Goat, a monster that's almost definitely a ram instead of a goat, who has armor on and is not robotic in the slightest. This is feeling like a season 1 episode. At the command center, the alarms go off, and Alpha finds out that the monster is coming out. So Alpha calls on the rangers, who meet up with Tommy while they hear about that there's a whole new monster. The six teleport to the command center and watch on the viewing globe to meet Robo Goat. Tommy suggests that he joins them, saying that they should summon the Sword of Power to give him an extra boost of power to get him through the fight. The Rangers just call on this random ass Sword of Power and it appears in Tommy's hands, who starts cackling and waving it around at them and then he just pieces out. Tommy gives the Sword of Power to Robogoat in the cave and this, for some reason, ends the spell. Robogoat disappears and Tommy morphs, searching for him. Then he sees the sword stuck in the ground and explosions erupt around him as he's running toward it. Robogoat comes out with a staff in tow and there's a run of the mill fight before Tommy gets the Sword of Power and then it just turns into a stick. Now Robogo actually does have the sword of power. He hits Tommy off of a cliff who rolls down a hill and grabs his titties. The others morph to go save Tommy, but they're stopped by Robogo, who uses the sword to fire lasers at them. He then makes the earth split and everyone except Jason falls in. Did, did they just die? I guess it doesn't matter because Jason duels with Robogo with the power sword against the sword of power. That's where we're at now. Jason hits the sword of power out of his hands and it turns into a stick as well. According to Jason, Zordon teleported the real sword back to the command center, but we have seen nothing. Also, the other four rangers just come out of Robogoat's chest. What is happening? Trini says that they've been freed from their energy bubbles. Lord Zed might as well say, this doesn't make any sense, so screw it, I'm just gonna make them big now. And he throws a bomb down to Robogoat. The rangers call out their Thunder Zords, forming the Thunder Megazord. They fight Robogoat by being off screen from one another the whole time. And Robogoat says that the Thunder Saber is no match for the Rod of Destruction. 
Oh, and Tommy gets beat by Zordon. We see nothing of this conversation, and Tommy just stands up trying to call out to the Dragon Zord, and he says that his dream is coming true. What else happened in the dream? Now Tommy is yelling at Zordon, saying that they're counting on him, asking to be put back in the fight. Who took you out? No one took you out! The Rangers stabilize for no reason and use the Thunder Saber destroying Robogo. Lord Zed screams at Goldar, Babu, and Squat, two of which weren't even around this episode. He relishes in the fact that Tommy's powers are going to be gone sooner than later anyways. At school, Tommy says that his essay came out decently, but he's burnt out on short stories. Then, all of a sudden, he just says, I'm at the end, guys. Like he's dying. Kim and Jason try to cheer him up, and Tommy says that Zed has had it in for him since the start, and now he's closing in. The end? Okay, this episode's confusing as hell. Tommy apparently is terminally ill as a Power Ranger there, and we end this episode on the lowest note I think we ever have. Where the hell did the Sword of Power even come from? Why was he called Robo Go if he had nothing robotic going on with him? How did Zordon get that sword back if no one really teleported it to begin with? Also, why did we waste time by showing Tommy groveling on the ground, struggling to call out to the Dragon Zord but failing, only to have him yell at Zordon again for absolutely no reason? And lastly, how are you going to call an episode The Green Dream and never show the aforementioned dream at all? Well, that's it then kids. Guess Green Ranger is going to be leaving the show for good. Might as well sell all your old toys now. How will next time fare for Tommy? Find out then, but until then, may the power protect you.